When people can feel music, I'm talking about feel it. Let me tell you this one thing, man. Make it right. The city of Seattle rocks! Welcome back to downtown Seattle at the Fuel. Sitting here with letters from traffic. <laughs> Earlier this year. So, guys, you guys blew me off the stage. Now. You're, you're amazing. Uh, I'm surprised I've never heard of you guys before. That's not a bad thing. We were down here on the flu for the headliner tonight, and you guys were the opening band. That's amazing. Tell me about what you guys got going on in your project and uh, what's happening in the band. What are your goals, your dreams, your future? You know, well, tell me about it. Tell the seat about it. I spent about the last six, seven years putting together a band, finding the right guys. Uh, and it's just in the last year, these guys fucking, uh, a few of these guys, this guy right here, Mr. Chris Cuvion. He's been with me the longest, Dennis second longest. Brad's the newest cat in the band. You find the right guys, and then one day all of a sudden it hits you, we're not playing to play. Because if that's why we're playing, we're already doing it. What are you playing to do? We're playing to get a word out, to get a message out. We, we actually, we want, of course we want to play killer music. We want to create some sound that people haven't heard. We want to make a soundtrack to people's lives. Nice. But we also want to create community. When we, when we try to get people to come out to a gig, to support art, to make something cool happen in the world that, that you never heard before, some cool music, the challenge is that we're not just competing with other bands, we're not competing with what's happening on Friday night. We're competing with the most kick-ass fucking video games, cool music, cool movies and TV and comfortable couches out there. If you want people to come out, you gotta give them a reason to come out. So what he's saying is he does not have a comfortable couch. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they write killer music and they want to project that music to you to enjoy in your earballs. Right there, there's the right earball. There, baby. Right, right in the middle of there. Oh, yeah. that's the earball. I got a little hair on mine. Let's talk about how the band met. How did you guys get together? How did you form as a group? You know, it's, it's been a long story. Uh, each each one of these guys has been. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, I, well, we, <laughs> I, there may have been at least one lifestyle party involved. <laughs> Honestly, every single person in this band has been a person that comes in. Uh, I, there's been a lot of different people that have come forth and played together, and then you winnow away the folks that just don't. They're, I mean, I bless their hearts. I sure. love them, musicians. They work hard, but you gotta find the right people. started playing with Scott man I, I started playing with a, a drummer friend of mine and Scott and myself on trumpet with a, with a mutant side and we were playing we were playing at coffee houses in Seattle with it's three jazz. or four people out man in the yeah. freaking audience and yeah it was jazz and we started to build a little bit of a build a little bit of an audience and that sort of thing but then suddenly we started building up some more people within the band and I actually left for a while and then I came back and suddenly it was a whole new band and now we got seven people on stage a three-piece horn section it's two guitar players, two guitar it's amazing. bass player it's, it's uh, cool it's amazing it's suddenly it's the, the band has transformed and we've taken all sorts of different forms throughout the years and it's, uh, it's just turned into this, this beast of a band that we're really proud of so yeah well, we call it acoustic soul yeah. acoustic soul that's yeah, a style man. folks we call it rock with horns, we call it acoustic soul. <laughs> Where do you guys want to end up? 
minus the, you know, oh, we want to be number one on Billboard. What, what do you mean, what do you guys want to do? I mean, if you don't get that record deal, if you don't get to that next point, are you going to continue doing this forever? You know, I, what we want to we want to build bigger crowds. We talk about this idea of community. I brought this up actually with early, with Dennis earlier tonight. The Grateful Dead, they did something that amen that Jerry! other bands didn't do. And what that what they did was they created a community. And I'm not saying I want to be the Grateful Dead or that we want to be a jam band or anything like that. But people who came out to saw and saw that band by their impact. Well, they met the other people that came out. And they started coming out, not just to see the band, but to be a part of something. I know that guy, I know that guy, we're gonna come out, I'm gonna see these guys too. It creates a bigger reason to be a part of it. <laughs> so are you guys in the studio? What are you guys working on currently? Well, currently we are, we're mapping out time. We're trying to create a, a, a space. And that's the one challenge of being in a band with seven people is that the logistics yeah. of <laughs> making that shit happen all at once are a real challenge. That's what we're looking at right now. We're hoping uh, we're, we're, the calendar is, I think, September, October, we'll have a product, we'll have a, a CD release party, and we'll have something that's that's mad quality. We're looking for investors. If you happen to be a, there you go. perhaps a, a millionaire or a that's multi- a first. Multi- that's multi- a first. Call the number yeah. at the bottom of your seat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it up. We'll, we will flash it up. 3907758. I don't know. This, cool. uh, this is big balls right here. We won't put it up. We will put it up. 206-390-7758. Hello, yes. Oh, we would definitely <laughs> take your money.